welcome back to Algiers, the capital of the largest country in Africa. Yeah, we would definitely get lost. Into the Casbah we go. Saha. Saha. We didn't even get to explore much of the Casbah because as soon as we popped in, there's like the coolest shop ever. One, two, three, viva la Algerie! <laughs> Saha, thank you Saha. so much. Saha. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Now, this is Hector. Good afternoon and welcome back to Algiers, the capital of the largest country in Africa that is Algeria after our first day, which completely surprised us. Any preconceptions or ideas that we had about Algeria? Very good, perfect, the best. See, everyone is so friendly. Any ideas that we had about this country before coming here? We found out that it was completely the opposite. But today we are gonna explore the old part of the city, the Kasbah, supposedly the most dangerous part of the city. Probably not, but it's basically the old center, the fortified part of Algiers and where the heart, the soul of the country is. So hopefully we're gonna try some food, check out some history, and just explore some more of this unique, mysterious country that is Algeria. We're actually starting on Martyrs Square, which was the doorway, or is the doorway, to the Kasbah, and this is Russia. We're actually going to be exploring the country of Algeria with fancy yellow travel, and Russia, Russia. is going to be taking us around the Kasbah. Is this one of your favorite places of in Algeria? Of course, it's the best one here in Algeria because we have a lot of history. We're going to reach out today, and I'm super excited to show you around my city. Oh, thank, thank you. you I, so feel, much. I feel like we'd get lost in yeah, the Kasbah without lost. you. Uh, yeah, of course, because <laughs> it's a little bit complicated and stuff, but we can. Uh, I can provide the best for you there. Yeah. We're excited. Thanks, We're excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would definitely get lost if it wasn't for Russia. We haven't even entered the Kasbah yet. We're just heading through the local market. And I feel like this is the most people I've seen <laughs> in all of Algeria so far. I was actually saying to Molly earlier. Hello my friend. How uh, calm this city is. For six million people, it's really relaxed compared to like a Cairo or a Marrakesh in North Africa. Algiers is really chill, but as soon as you start heading towards the Kasbah, chaos. Just before you enter the Kasbah, you're greeted with the Kachawa Mosque. Kechi actually means sheep um, because they used to sell sheep right outside sheep from all over they would just come and sell outside the mosque and it was built back in around the 16th century and i mean it's pretty remarkable it's huge and you have the green all around the pillars you have the tiles the beautiful tiles and the pillars itself um i'm i'm ready to go in the casbah though this mosque is so significant in algiers because when the french invaded in 1832 they actually turned it into a church and it remained a church for over a hundred years until obviously revolution took place and it became what it is again today back in its rightful place um, sitting right outside of the Kasbah. I don't think we can actually go in today but it's just so impressive the architecture and the history behind it. Into the Kasbah we go. Oh, and straight walk. into yeah, what a is shop. it? It's an antique shop. It's oh, wow. uh, some of the traditional stuff and tea. You can have a good tea uh, with traditional sweets inside. Amazing. Let's go and Yalla. Oh my god, yalla, let's get some tea. Hi, how Salam. are you? Salam. Salam. It's like a hole in the wall. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> how are you? Good? <laughs> I wouldn't so even cool. have known this was here. We say in Algeria, Wusharak, how are you? Wusharak. Wusharak. I'm learning yeah. everything right now. Oh my god, look, yeah. you come through the little archway? Yeah, this is the street of the Kasbah, some painting the stuff. Wow, and, and this, this is, is all antique. Of the traditional, yeah, this is some of the traditional sweets. We have baklava here and we have charak with sugar. And when it having that white sugar, we call it the naked charak. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. The naked cherry, that yeah. sounds good. I like the sound of it. Sit. You can have tea in here. Yeah, you can sit this here, so cool. order your tea. It's just 40 dinar, which is mean 0 0.25 cent. Wow. So cheap. And yeah. this is the original like, yes. walls yeah. of the Casbah. This is so cool. Saha. Saha. We didn't even get to explore much of the Casbah because as soon as we popped in, there's like the coolest shop ever. and The antique shop. 
stroke hidden cat. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, we've had mint tea in a few different countries, and so far, Algeria does it like... Tastes different. It does taste different. It's yeah. like a lot sweeter and very minty. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, viva l'Algerie! <laughs> So this Kasbah dates back over 1,000 years, back to the 10th century and we would definitely get lost. This isn't like the Medina of maybe Marrakesh or Fez where you can go on your own, you can find the places. It's not exactly signposted and it's not the most touristy so without a tour guide you'd be getting lost and you wouldn't know where to go. There's some beautiful dars to visit and everything's hidden. It's like, I don't know where I'm going. So when we sell in the street, the cousin with the hand, it means this street is for Muslim people, it means attention. And when we find the hand, the cousin and the flower, it means attention, this street is for Muslim rich people. So only rich people and Muslim used to live on that time. Why? Because they used to live in a Kasbah, Muslim and Jewish together. In the same time, when we are in a Jewish street, they have them rules, with them symbol as well. This has got to be the best street of the Kasbah. On one side, you have one of the teams, football teams from Algiers, and on the other, you have the rival team, but they've put a cross through the rival team's flag. And you can see that, really, in Algeria, football is the second religion of the country. We literally would not have been able to do this on our own. Over 40,000 people live inside the Kasbah and the streets are like little mazes because each door leads up to something really unique. We're actually going to pop into like a local um, handcraft, I suppose you could say. They make leather bags. Um, and pockets. And, and pockets as well. So they do everything yeah, basically. 100% leather. And how long have they been doing it for? Uh, it's an old shop, it's not like okay, 15 years doing this stuff. Wow, yeah. it's like a little hole in the And this is our artist. Hi! Hello, hello. Hi. Salam. Nice to meet you. This is so cool. Is how are you? Artist. Very good, how are you? Where he I'm doing very good, thank you very much. <laughs> this is, uh, he made them all by his hand on here. And it's 100% leather, as I told you. So could you ask him, how long does it take to make like one of the bags? <laughs> One day. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's, he's a so very fast, fast worker. Yeah. So quick. <laughs> Saha, thank you Saha. so much. Saha. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Apparently, we're going to walk around six kilometers throughout the Kasbah. And strange fact apparently, the song. Rock the Kasbah by The Clash was sung sort of to stand up for those that were here during the revolution because this was sort of a stronghold for the Algerians in Algiers. And we're going up here, you can tell I'm a little bit unfit for this six, six kilometer hike through, <laughs> through the Kasbah. There's so many beautiful streets. This is one of my favorites. This is like the new door, the new street. Um, and we're going into a carpenter shop right here, which actually has Star El Badja on top, which means the roof of happiness. It's hopefully where we're gonna have something to eat here in the Casbah. This has got to be the strangest entrance oh my God. to a restaurant. Yeah. It so really is a carpenter's shop. Yes. It's a shop. So they actually use it, it's not pretend. And they then actually do work in here. Yeah. And then somewhere up here is a yeah, restaurant. Yeah. But just to let you see, uh, here where our martyrs used to hide themselves to not get killed. This is the place. Wow. You see how much is tiny? Yeah. yeah. It's so clever. So apparently, if we walk through the carpenter's workshop. Oh, wow. I love all the paintings. <laughs> it's so cool. It's like a second floor before yeah, the restaurant. Like six floors of stairs. We've had to walk up. It is so hidden. Oh my god. Wow. There we are. You Look at that view. view. Oh my here. gosh. You would never have known this before. That is amazing. Look. So this is the beautiful view of the Kasbah. You can get a look at all. We can sew monument of the martyr there and the, the greatest mosque there. 
And this with silver, it's a synagogue for the Jewish. Cheers. <laughs> with our Algerian soft drink. This is the one I think that tastes like bubblegum and is meant to be the uh, Algerian Coke. But the view is pretty insane up here. Their, um, their menu is all fish. I think in the Casbah they have amazing fish, obviously being right surrounded by like the fish. sea. Yeah, and guess who doesn't eat fish? So we're going to have to find somewhere else, maybe grab something. Um, but just sitting up here and enjoying the view is, is pretty spectacular. This really is like... And we're out. We have exited the Casbah and we've made it onto the Bride Street, which is probably the most hectic street I've seen in all of Algiers. It's basically a market that sells absolutely everything from traditional clothing to football shirts. Saha! Thank you. Saha! Everyone's so friendly! Now this is hectic. This is where all the people are. They're literally selling everything. You've got kids toys, you've got molds, what clothing. Do what do I want? What do I need? You need traditional dress. <laughs> yeah. She's trying to make me buy everything. Yeah. You can buy pots and pans. And um, you can also find here fake brand bags like Louis Vuitton, Gucci now and other stuff. Sounds like I'll yeah. tell them it's real at home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice day meeting you and you are so much nice people I enjoy a lot your company and I wish to see you soon here again it was really nice getting a woman's perspective taking yeah. us around the Casbah and that was the infamous Algiers Casbah honestly don't believe what you read online everything is probably out of date by about 30 years the tour guides aren't there for your safety they're there because in the Casbah I wouldn't have a flipping clue of where I was going I'd get lost and it's great to have a young local expert that is passionate about her city like Russia which is why we're going to be doing these tours in certain destinations with fancy yellow because you get a local in each destination they can show you round and you don't get lost in the Casbah like I said there's a slight paranoia that goes back 40 years to the Civil War the country's completely changed I mean a lot happens in 40 years. It's a city that we've been exploring on our own at night, getting taxis around at night, and we're loving it, and we have so much more to see and do in the next two weeks. From beaches to ancient Roman ruins and everything in between, I'm gonna get some rest, get some sleep, and we'll see you in the next one from somewhere in Algeria.